Hey guys, how you doing? This is Osamo here, and I've got Paul and this guy. How you doing, brother? How you doing? How's how's the connections over there? They're going okay for the time being, or what? Yeah, I think we're okay right now. Yeah. So what you got going on today? Well, uh, today is uh, the thirty, the thirtieth, May thirtieth, and uh, I always start off with the earthquakes, uh, letting you know what's happening. So. Uh, I guess I'll let you know what's going on. Okay, this is uh, what's happening right now as far as uh, earthquake-wise. Uh, we've got this huge one right now here off of, uh, let's see here, where is this place? This is uh, near uh, Afghanistan. In Kaiser, there was like a 5.7, close to a 6, so that's pretty big right over here. As you can see right over here. Uh, 5.7 is a huge earthquake because uh, 5.8 was in Chile and they had that huge rumble there. So this just happened uh, not too long ago, right there. And then if you look over here, um, down here near uh, Russia, Russia had one off of uh, let's see here 5.3, another 5. Point, uh, huge one down there. And then uh, down here, New Zealand, uh, 4.5 just happened about 40 minutes ago. And then Mexico right over here, you've got a 4.6 earthquake, close to a 5. Uh, and then right off of um, Peru, 4.8 earthquake here. And then um, right off the coast, right off of here in Mexico, you have some tremors there, not two big ones. But uh, you still have like a three and a four uh, earthquake there, and then going up there as well. And, How about uh, the sea? Up in the sea, looks like uh, there's one off of Hawaii, but it's a uh, 1.9, not a huge one happening That's there. There for a few days, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, there's been rumbling there. But then Alaska, look at Alaska, three. Uh, a 2.9 there and then uh, low tremors over here as well and there's still a lot of action happening down here as you can see in Turkey and then uh, Italy Italy's still having a little bit of tremors there like a three point uh, did you get an update on Italy as far as uh, deaths or uh, people uh, did you hear anything about anything like that? Uh, I think the uh, uh, the last that I heard was it was up to about 17 people injured, oh. and there was like about 365 injured people what? there. Wow. Uh, that's that's last that I heard of, and wow. but, you know, but you can still see there's a lot of tremors still happening down in Italy. I mean, this one here, uh, let's see here, about 15 minutes ago they had like a four point something there, so something's going on there. That's for sure. A lot of aftershock. Yeah, a lot of aftershocks. And then here's uh, the view of the planet. Um, as you can see, uh, um, the quakes are happening over here. Look at five point here. Um, can, you pin, can you pinpoint it right now? What's that? You pinpoint Italy right now. Okay, pinpoint Italy. Let's see, it would probably be... Whoa. There's some right. Yeah, there it goes, right up here. I would say it's about around them here somewhere. So it looks like there's still some huge tremors down in here happening there in Italy. Because here's Japan there. And then there's some uh, ones down here in New Zealand. It looks like a six point, folk, down, uh, down here as well. Let's see here, I'm trying to stop the globe. Center it off of here. Six point seven is pretty big down in Peru, don't you think? Yeah, that's almost a seven pointer, bro. Yeah, well, there's one right down here. Uh, do you have, we have anything on that? Is there? Any, I wonder if we have finding stuff on that as far as Peru. It just hit, huh? Yeah. Uh, let's wow. see here. So we're looking down here in this other map here. That must be this one here. It'd be further down, yeah. Yeah. See, like I said, uh, some of these maps don't don't tell you right away, but uh, 
as you can see right there, a 6.7, that's close to a 7. That's a huge one. That's getting towards devastating now. Yeah, yeah, right over here. So I, I bet you anything we'll probably hear in that off of Peru or Chile right up there. Um, here. And there's a, there's a huge one up of here, a 6.2. And uh, see, I know this is Art Antarctica, but this is like near... I would say um, Norway, you know, Norway was up here somewhere down there, so it looks like it's a little bit up here, 6.2 up there, off the, you were just telling me off the coast, and, and there it is, there's off the coast, a so 6.2, so that's pretty huge, bro. Wow. Yeah, and I know Italy is down here somewhere, um, looks like uh, they had a 5 point, 8 point earthquakes there, um, and then, um, right off of here uh, near I would say China and Japan Japan this is Japan right here and this is uh, has to be like Russia up here and uh, different places here so you can see the the huge ones are happening there that's for sure so uh, a lot of six pointers that's pretty big uh, earthquakes as far as that so this is how it looks like in the globe right now as we speak so so this must be the big one here like I said this is between Afghanistan uh, um, Afghanistan Kanistan or uh, near China here's China Guatemala and uh, Mongolia sorry and then uh, 5.7 here's Russia up here there was something down here yeah 5.3 on there so so as far as earthquakes that are happening, but I said in Italy, they're still having little tremors there, so uh, something to watch for there. But moving on, uh, what you got, brother? Well, the, the, before you go, uh, before we leave there, I just I just pulled up on uh, on Yahoo, and they have the Peru earthquake, and I, they have some images. I don't know if you can grab it. It's called uh, Peru Earthquake Images Results. Okay, so so this is just recently, right? Okay, so we're gonna get something that was years ago. Now, six, you said six point eight. Uh, it was like a um, according to that map, it was like a uh, yeah, it was like a six point seven actually. Right here it says uh, looking for U.S. Geological Survey. Uh, um, doesn't say nothing about affecting anybody. It just shows bit. It just shows a. Uh, Images uh -huh. of how it's affecting. Uh, there's some big or huge things uh, on the asphalt. Right. Well, you know, it could be very new. I mean, it just just happened, you know. Because yeah. uh, we probably won't be able to get the updates right now, but yeah. uh, as soon as we do, into you guys. Yeah, but I mean, as you can see, right up here, geology, right here. Uh, so two uh, two hours ago, a uh, five point three Russia, which we just showed you, and then a, a five point seven off of uh, Kanistan. Kanistan, that's still, you know, five point seven. It's point eight, right? Yeah, a five point seven. But the one we saw was a, a six point seven. That was a huge one. So uh, obviously they didn't put it up yet. So that must have just happened. Um, yep. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I mean, as we report these things, they're just like earthquakes just happen just like right right away. So, and some of these maps don't, you know, don't, uh, they don't uh, pick it up right away. As you can see, I, I use two different uh, sources and maps and stuff, and then uh, one picks it up right away and the other one doesn't. So, but, um, you know, it's, it's definitely earthquakes happening, that's for sure. Yeah. But, uh, what else do you have there, brother? Uh, well, um, the other part is that I guess we'll move on to, uh, we were talking, I guess, like last year and maybe before then, <clears throat> you know, about uh, Planet X and um, it was like uh, Comet Elenin and uh, the New Brew. Uh, some people call it, uh, they call it New Brew. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing New Brew. Other people call it Planet X. Uh, and then the Bible talks about it as as wormwood, and uh, 
you know, if you think about these things, uh, uh, you know, like a huge meteorite or size of a planet or whatever, you know, trying to hit the Earth, uh, you know, for science fiction, you think about it, oh, that's not possible. But then when you read the Bible in Revelation, when it talks about wormwood, then you know it's possible. So they wouldn't put there uh, on the Bible if it wasn't real. So that's 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 always been my aspect as far as like uh, could that really happen or whatever. But anyways, recently <clears throat> I believe uh, NASA had an article saying that the, they found a huge planet far away, but uh, we don't know if that's Planet X or not. But anyways, recently, uh, like a couple days ago, uh, someone took a picture of this here, and uh, this was off the plane. And uh, that was obviously enlarged there, but you can you can tell uh, this person was was uh, traveling from I think Australia up, uh, and then uh, grabbed the camera and and took this uh, image on that, as you can see it right there. And uh, that's not the sun. So uh, looks like there's uh, two different or three different planets. Or, or meteorites or something hooked up together right there on that and here's the the plane shot obviously and then the person you know like enlarged it exposed it right there so here's the plane right there there it is enlarged version of that and uh, <clears throat> so that's that's the image right there and uh, neat thing what the person got is uh, here's the enlarged version of it is um, there was a some kind of uh, landmark somewhere that had the same image on that so this person try to show you that these were the same images that were on the ground as well so I don't know if uh, ancient civilization knew about these things happen like the Mayan calendar and the Egyptians or whatever but uh, we know that in the Bible that uh, these things are real and uh, you look it up in Revelations. I believe it's Revelation uh, chapter eight, verse eleven, talks about the warm wood. So um, that's what they took a picture of that. And, uh, and uh, I, this is the the planet that NASA had, or uh, what they think what it looks like here on that. So let's see if I can find. Here's the other article about NASA saying that there could be a huge uh, planet or whatever NASA kept secretly had a vaporizing planet and uh, so this has been, this been kind of going on for a while but then recently like I said someone took this picture here on that so there you go on that uh, what's your thought brother well just a sign of the times you know watch yeah. good Lord we see signs and wonders and definitely we're seeing them from the heavens that's right that's right I don't know if we're seeing it from the heavens, but we're seeing earthquakes. We're seeing how they're, you know, we're, you know, brother, we just talk about earthquakes and we're just doing this to update people. But as we're talking, we're, they're, they're, they're appearing right before our eyes. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we just saw one at 6.7. 6. Shoot. Yeah, we've ever seen that before. We hit one that big. I mean. Yeah, that's that's a huge one, man. I mean, that, if, if that hit, like, I would say, like in LA or New York, there'd be such a major panic that would happen. But Definitely. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we think about, oh, 6.0 or 3.0. I mean, in Italy, you know, that was a 5.8, and it, it caused major damages, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, and then um, <clears throat> in Texas, people were talking about that was a 3. Point, that was a 3.5 that happened um, in somewhere in Texas or Oklahoma, and that was like a talk of the town thing, you know? Well, you know, it's... It, it's uh... Amazing, just to, to, to hear all these facts, but also that these 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 earthquakes, like it, it like in Italy, how it just, just destroyed that whole area, and you had pictures of that. That's right. And I look over, I think over by the Bay Area, but a lot of those pockets in the Bay Area, a lot of those homes, brand new homes, are real nice looking homes and everything. And the base of the base of their uh, foundation is is a um, is a like a landfill uh-huh the trash you know and they, they they fix it up and then they cover it over and then uh -huh. they, have an earthquake and you have all that trash underneath uh, feet, 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 
trash and you build and you build the houses on top of it, it just goes down to the sea level. Because whenever you're in a area, you're below sea level. Really? Below sea level when you're in the Bay Area. So if that place, if a big earthquake were to hit the San Andreas Fall, you would see it sink. You'd see all those communities sink right into the sea. Wow. No, brother. And that, there's nothing to support it. There's no rock underneath it. Wow. There's nothing to, 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 to take the brunt of those earthquakes. So when you're looking at the Bay Area, like today, like you're showing here at Santa, like up and down there where it says uh, uh, Salinas, Santa Cruz, San Jose, you know, just uh, that red line right there. Right. To the right. San Andreas Fault. As soon as that thing hits, I mean, you'd see all those places going to the sea right there. Santa wow. Cruz, San Jose. Yes. Out just into the, to the ocean. And you'd, you'd, be see, you'd be seeing stock to the Sacramento with, uh, 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 you know, each property. <laughs> right, right, definitely. Now, if we had something, I know, if you if we had something like a, a five or even like a six, definitely. And we yeah. just saw that on on the globe somewhere um, near Peru. It looks like Peru to me. I'm surprised. So it... We don't really know what you know how, where, where these cities and all not just California, but all over you, you know all over the world. What 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 their what their base is? If they have landfill, if they're close to the water, or you know what the structure of their base is. If you don't have much of a base, happen. They're not going to last. You know, it's just amazing to, to see these earthquakes go right in front of us as we're talking about them. That's right. That's right. What's the next thing, brother? What do we have to go to? Um, well, the next thing I guess uh, we talk about is is um, just an update about um, what's happening um, <clears throat> on um, the Fukushima thing. And, yeah. um, you know... People are talking about the Fukushima, and what's happening, folks, is um, there's uh, actually um, I wouldn't say riots right now, but they're they're having massive uh, uh, protesting, and what it is is massive anti-government uh, protests over the the whole uh, Fukushima J Japan thing, and I actually got a video of uh, of the newscast uh, from CNN on that. And then also the people marching on that. So people are getting ticked off about that. Um, do you want me to show that video quick? Yeah. Okay. To anger in Japan more than a year after the tsunami nuclear disaster at Fukushima. Japanese people feel they've been kept in the dark about the extent of the damage caused by the Fukushima meltdown and that they can no longer trust their government. CNN's Kim La is in Tokyo. She joins us now with more on that. Kim. Well, Manita, the legacy of the Fukushima nuclear disaster isn't just going to be the massive cleanup. It's going to be how this government is going to get people to trust them again. Because if you talk to people here, they'll tell you a couple of things. They believe that the government was incompetent back then. It is incompetent now. That it will withhold information or the government will simply flat out lie. What that has resulted in is a wide gap between the people and the government. So as the government is trying to, for example, try to incinerate debris that is from the Fukushima nuclear plant, trying to get communities to accept it, what they've been confronted with is massive protests. These are the types of protests that you never, ever saw pre-Fukushima. People are enraged. Now, I spoke with a nuclear engineer, a man who was inside the prime minister's office, a special advisor to the prime minister, in those early days, right after the triple meltdown at the Fukushima nuclear plant. And he says the government failed the people back then and is continuing to fail the people today. To help people to trust government, the transparency is very important, reformation is very important, and the public message to people the sincere message to people is very important. And right now, that's not happening. It does not happen. So, it's my understanding. Is that why people call that plastic government? 
Now, there have been some changes on the governmental level as far as the regulatory agency, but also within the government itself. But the Sasha says that they have really been cosmetic changes, equivalent, if you will, of putting lipstick on a pig, that there needs to be more fundamental change, he says, before this country can move beyond Fukushima. Manita. Okay, what's interesting about Japan so is that they're, we're they're actually, um, people are just uh, kind of ticked off about this whole thing. And uh, here, here's another video that shows the actual people lined up here. So you can see that. This is Tokyo. So you saw people lined up there and, and they're protesting them. So um, obviously they didn't show much about it. They're kind of, kind of weird. But, uh, but uh, let me see if I can find a, a closer shot. Experten gehen aber nicht davon aus, dass eine größere Gefahr für die Umwelt bestehe, die Strömung zu verdichten. Aha. Better. That people started using violence instead of just walking. I know. It, I don't think. Um, Some but, people think that, oh, that's not going to happen to me because it's a nice area and I live away from all that stuff. Right. But what's to stop those people from getting on a bus or a car or a plane and just ransacking your place? That's right. I'm just trying to bring it to understanding that you don't think that you're not immune from it all. Right. That's why we have these camps popping up all over the United States for people that do do that or people that do express like the people over here in line that are pro that are protesting. Is it maybe those camps could be for those people as also as well? Mm. I don't know. I hope not. For the people that are protesting. But you can see where it's going to go. I mean, like, uh, as far as, like, the major protest and the fight. I mean, people, you know. You're going to see civil war in this United States. I definitely see that. That's a no-brainer. And then what you're saying is is just uh, from that whole uh, Ronnie King when people are just burning things down and stuff like that. So they don't have, they have, they haven't have. Or may, and a lot of people say, well, yeah, but they don't. They should they should work hard and they shouldn't be on welfare. And you're right. There's a lot of people who shouldn't be on welfare, but there's are some people that they just can't do for themselves. If you don't want them to be on welfare, then to try help putting more money in the city at, 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 uh, at Sundays or whatever program that you can think of to help them out, they put kick in an extra buck there. Mm. If you don't want to well, so you got to fix it. Now that's out of mind. How are people going to fix it? Everybody has an idea. That's right. It's not working. I mean... I don't know if you know the better way of doing it, express it so others can hear about it. And so, but if we don't come to some kind of a conclusion, you're going to see what you're looking at right now happen. And it's, it works. Hmm. If you think it is, you've got your head stuck in the sand. Hmm. And I'm not trying to get, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm just telling you the truth that you have the haves and the have nots. Yeah, say it's part of this. This is not fair. Every time I go out there, I'm a blue collar worker. I live by the side, the 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 freeway, or the side of the freeway in the morning. I go to work each day with my, my lunch bag. And I do my best that I can. I come home and I get pennies. Hmm. Say, well, you should, get, you should go to school and get an education. But even college graduates today can't get 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 those kind of jobs anymore. They end up working at McDonald's or some other place, fast food restaurant. 
There's something wrong with the system. So, so is this Rodney King, bro? Yeah, this is this is back in those days, yeah. What are you talking about? You know, you got people, but you know, this is small scale. Imagine having this around the world, people just, just getting upset. And say, That's enough. Mm. You're, you're not going to have enough FEMA camps. With all these people that feel that way. To riot and everything like that, that's not on my mind. I'm just telling you, these things could happen to us. What I mean by that, whether it is, is going to our knees and say, Lord, you got to help us here because we don't know how to take care of the ills of, of, of all of mankind. Hmm. Come to you, we need to ask forgiveness, and you need to put us on the right track to do the right thing. That's right. Come out of my chime. Well, you know what? Uh, I I just remember like not too long ago there were some some riots that happened like uh, in France and Europe and stuff like that. You know. Yeah. And um. They they didn't know what to do. I mean, this is uh, look at that. That's what well, happened, pretty much. <laughs> this is like well, in France, man. That's why they're building camps. They don't know what to do. Yeah. I mean, my brother showed you all those camps across the United States where he was up today. He showed me that, and he showed you guys that too. Pull up because when we have past, these have a place to go. But what 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 happens if we don't have those earthquakes? Uprise because they see the rich getting richer and the poor getting poorer. That's intelligent. Well, I think everybody should go out there and work hard and, and come back with a, a decent paycheck, and everybody should you know should strive to do the best they can and take care of their families and stuff, but. Of somebody else. I don't know. That's a hard one for me to understand. But too, I, I don't. I think it was an easy one for job for for Jesus to understand because he says, "Sell all you have and give to the poor, and come and follow." When people throw rocks, man, you know. They don't care, man. Is this still in LA here? No, this is this is uh I think this is uh from when they had it up in, in Europe. Europe. Yeah, Europe. Wow. This is you know, this is this is real. This is non-violent right now, but imagine at nighttime and you get hordes of crowds. I mean, there was a real huge riot over in Oakland a few years ago, I think, four or five years ago, mm -hmm. and it was huge. It was at nighttime, it was light, lit, not light, everything with fire. Really, man, it was ridiculous. It was terrible. Maybe sometime we could show that video in the future. I'll try to look it up through the archives. But uh, yeah, there was a the huge riot, right? I remember that place. There's a place that the kids could go on the weekends with their parents. It was called Fairyland, and they have these characters like Alice in Wonderland and you know different stuff and and, and old fables. And it was, it was right there where they had those riots. Really? Wow! Oh, there was a little kid. I used to go to those places on the on the. It was called Lake Merrick. And you have boats in the water, and, you know, on the pond and everything, and they had a little zoo, and it was real cool. But now they have rights mm. there now. Get that place. Really? Because people just fight each other, huh? Yeah, man. They don't say that. Like, you have halves and they have not. Well, you know, the Bible talks about the riots, too, so. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, things happening like that. I mean,. Think Americans as we as Americans when we think of riots we think it kind of think of it sometimes like globally. 
Our own city. Right. It's so crazy, huh, brother? It's something else, bro. It's just something else. I, you know, I just, I think that we're able to uh, to bring this kind of stuff to everybody so they can just take, you know, take a look at it and Jesus Christ and say, look, help out here because we don't have a clue how to know. we don't know how to deal with this i know i don't i mean the only the only way i know how to do is get on my knees and say lord you got to mercy on us and you've got to get out of this mess because we as, a, as human beings have put ourselves in this mess and god's given us all kinds of chances to get out of it and he's still waiting for us to get out of it i mean he's a, such a patient god he's just he's just shaking his head he's going what are you going to learn what are they going to learn? All they got to do is get on those those little knees and just humble themselves before me and ask me for to forgive their sins, and I'll forgive them, and I'll start them over again. I'll start not their sins over again. I'll start them out again. But we got to stay close to him, because when we stay close to him, we won't see like things like this happening. When we push God out of the schools and we push him out of here, different places, you know, how does, you know, and then we say, oh, well, could God come and help us? How can you expect God to help you when you push him away? Bring him back into the schools, bring him back into your life, and you won't see these things happening to you. Because it's not going to get any better. That's right. I guess we should take off, huh, bro? Yeah, I guess so. But uh, I guess to leave you off, uh, did you want to talk about that other stuff or no? Talk, or you wanted to talk about something more depressing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, might as well. We're on a roll now, huh? <laughs> nah, no, I guess uh, you know. Well, one of the things that I caught, and, and it was today, it was yesterday. No, today, excuse me. It had to do about uh, at least. Uh, don't you have it there? Uh, yeah, I think I got rid of it. I'm sorry. All right, what? Well, today we talked about that yesterday yeah well I think I lost it just now but uh, okay we'll do it another time yeah we we'll just we want to pray with you guys right now Father, in the name of Jesus I ask that you bless my brothers and sisters out there anything that was fearful in the hearts I ask that you erase it right now Sorry. let them be at peace of uh what's going on in their life. Not that they put their head in the sand, but they know that there's a problem. And that they pray and humble themselves and call to you and that you would give them finances. You know, just ask for mercy upon people who are willing to step out and, and call on you. Yeah, sure. So that we could uh, at least have hope in, in our lives, Lord. But so uh, they continue to want to do what they want to do. You deal with them how you want to deal with them, Lord. But we ask, Lord, for mercy on those people out there that have kind of, have some fear in their lives. Don't don't don't, don't put that fear on your on your shoulders. You got fear? Throw it up to God. Let Him deal with it. Throw it strong because He's real good at taking care of fear. He knows how to deal with it. Just lease it to Him and let Him deal with it. No. Don't be fearful. Just, you know, prepare like we said before. We said before, my brother and I, be prepared and not scared. Well, I know it's kind of hard to prepare when people are running and the people are stealing, but if you get a start with prayer, there's a good chance that uh, it's by the door. That's right. So, on this note, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you.